<laughs> when you enter a realm in World of Warcraft, orcs and monsters are par for the course. But you probably aren't expecting to run into terrorists and spies. They're there though, at least the spies are. This revelation comes from Edward Snowden's documents. It sounds like a plot point in a different video game, but in actuality, NSA surveillance is happening inside massively multiplayer online games like World of Warcraft and Second Life. With millions of users logged on daily, the agency worry that terrorists could use the game to plot attacks and launder money. Washington correspondent Mark Mazzetti reported on the effort with ProPublica's Justin Elliott in New York. They met to talk about their findings, appropriately, in the Shaanxi training grounds of World of Warcraft. Hi, Justin. Hi, Mark. Mark's in-game avatar is that muscular panda with the daggers, and Justin is the svelte one with the red hair. Th these chat features in the game were what Western intelligence agencies were so worried about. Uh, the idea was that terrorists or criminals would use fake names in the game and sort of in-game lingo to plan attacks. There was actually one fictitious scenario presented at a conference in which players in the game were talking about casting a fire spell, but really they were talking about um, setting off a bomb outside the White House. Right, and I think it's important to note that um, there don't seem to be any big counterterrorism successes in these virtual worlds, partly because the intelligence agencies appear to have misjudged the threat that they pose. And I talked to a lot of experts asking whether these fears about terrorist attacks being planned in the games were ever borne out, and no one could come up with any, at least public examples of that happening. One of the, the concerns had been the uh, fact that these games have virtual currencies. The idea was that it could be used um, to launder actually real world money. That was at least the fear. Um, but actually the money transactions in Second Life and World of Warcraft um, are one of the things that the companies monitor pretty closely because of the very concerns about uh, of fraud. It's not exactly a secret that the proprietors of these games reserve the right to monitor conversations and transactions. You actually agree to it in that terms of service dialogue you likely clicked OK to without reading. When you think about it, it's not necessarily the best place for a secure discussion. Some avid players of, of World of Warcraft were actually worrying back in June on a forum after Snowden documents first came out that the NSA might be uh, looking at these games. Um, and so it turns out that we, we know from um, some of the Snowden documents that you know, the NSA was collecting various types of data from World of Warcraft, the CIA and the FBI and GCHQ, which is the uh, British counterpart of the NSA, were all operating um, inside Second Life. You wonder walking around um, whether other avatars, you know, are they, <laughs> are they spies working for the CIA or GCHQ? At the end of the day, we really don't know how many people we encounter in virtual worlds are earnest gamers, possible spies, terrorists, or other procrastinating reporters. Although the concept of being anonymous while online is probably outdated, there's growing evidence that our interactions in virtual worlds are anything but private.